You could say Daryl Andrews had two families. He loved life. He loved um, his family. His wife Kay and stepdaughter and the kids at Ben Lippin School, where he was the band director, were part of that family. But in summer 2010, the beloved band director and his wife got some horrifying news. A series of sinus headaches were actually being caused by a brain tumor. But Daryl and I both had, and, ha and I still have, a great faith um, in Jesus Christ. Their faith would be tested over the following months. Daryl fought the cancer bravely, but passed away in March 2011. Right now, as this brand new wing at Duke University Medical Center is under construction, doctors are working towards a day where brain tumors will no longer be a death sentence. Dr. James Redenberg is one of the world's foremost experts on brain tumors. One of those bad luck things in life, uh, it's really like a lightning bolt. Uh, there was a lot of concern about certain pesticides or cell phones. None of that has been proven. Redenberg and a team of researchers are comparing the brain tumors of patients from all over the world to find out what they have in common. Redenberg says as of now, there aren't many cases of long-term survival in brain tumor patients. Plus the low-grade gliomas are, quote, benign tumors. Um, but they still have the propensity to become a malignant brain tumor. Ultimately, Dr. Vredenberg says the goal of the study is to cure brain cancer once and for all. But if you maintain their quality of life and you focus on the science, I think within the next few years, we're going to have a lot more people cured of their brain tumor. Kay misses Daryl, but says knowing that his death wouldn't have been in vain would have been music to his ears. Uh, Daryl would have been glad. In Columbia, Drew Stewart, Watch Fox News.